Quick one for Halton. Here's Cassidy from a tough angle. Bends it around and kicks a beauty. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Absolutely ripping stuff from the captain, Michael Cassidy. And that's what this contest needed. It's only seven points of margin. Well, good afternoon, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls. My name is Tubes Taylor, and this is the game of the year. I can tell you what, Peach, SFL versus Old Scholars is the game that we're up and about for today. Very exciting to see an Old Scholars rep side together, mate. What's that mean for you? Oh, it's huge. As we said this week, you know, we're not, it's, nothing's guaranteed about when this game's going to happen again or if it does. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's a good feel amongst the boys. You know, we've trained a few times together. A little bit, you know, a bit uneasy first off, you know, because we're all rivals uh, week in, week out. But uh, the group's come together well, and it, it should be an exciting day. Um, yeah, us by five, five or six goals. Oh, there we go. Alex Gilmore with the prediction. Good on you, mate. All the best. Yeah, mate, we've got a lot of redemption to make up. Um, the buy-in last year probably wasn't up to the, the level of football we wanted. Um, but, look, as you've probably seen with the players we've got on, on paper today, we're, we're up for a fight. As, as they've said about themselves, they have got a lot of talent, all right? They've got a lot of experience. But in saying that, I, um, I believe we've got, we've got the same team or talent to match them on the day. I think we just spoke to Alex Gilmore. He reckons he's got you guys by five or six goals today. What do you say to that? Well, look, mate, I, I, I'm not going to buy into none of that. Um, I, I believe our side here, we've got here on paper, will win the game. Simple as that. But, look, if they want to try and get out under our skins by um, throwing them comments out, it's not working at all. Thanks very much, John. And uh, let's cut to the game. This is going to be on pumped. Doesn't get it. Narco now picks it up, gets tackled hard. That's what they wanted to start with. It's holding the footy. Briggs will take the kick from half forward. Handballs off quickly to a running Langford. Goes long down inside forward 50. And Gilmore with strength. Bit of push and shove there, don't mind that. Trent Standen's down there too. Look at this, he, you're right, he's one of the best set shots going around in Tasmanian footy. And he kicks them really well from 40 metres. Just massages that one through the goals and he's up and about and he's a fight up there, the rat. First blood goes to the old scholars and look at Jake Briggs get around him. Wasn't that a brilliant tackle on half forward? It's just constantly on the move as you see a rock contest, a quick snack on goal by Parker. Is he going to get the first? And he does, the boy from New Norfolk. You know, they're not matched up. Now Corso with his symbols goes long deep inside forward 50 and finds Gilmore on a lead. Beautiful work there from Claude Al Corso. Ruck contest in the middle was pretty even, but it was well read. And how about that kick? Once again, it's kicked into a bit of space and Barwick right on his tail. Polonowski down to Daft, we've seen that so many times through their careers. It comes back to Polonowski, he kicks long, deep inside forward 50. Gilmore punched away nicely though, it was standing. Now a chance for Langford, he's been chased by as a party, right in the pocket, spends one round, Gilmore in the right spot, worked it beautifully. And it looks like Barwick might have uh, injured himself here. Look at Alice Gilmore now, so he's directly in front, he's kicked two goals already, he has two kicks, that's his third. He's made the umpire go a long way to his right, but all he does is come back to the middle and stick two fingers out, and Gilmore has three. So deep in defence here. This, the old scholars will have to be clever. It's straight to Parker. He's turned it over from 35, kicks <laughs> a goal, and it is goal for goal. Parker with two to the right of screen in the Argyle Street, the Horigori Den, and to the left-hand side of the screen, Alice Gilmore has three. And now... Yeah, look out, they're running away here by Lewis Franks. Lewis Franks looks like he's had a nice new fade on the haircut as that man stands in front for the SFL. Out it comes for Richmond, he got his handball away. Livingston over the back, all Briggs, Cotlas Wilson, Caden Wilson had caught one high. Caden Wilson will put this one back, and he does. So Caden Wilson kicks his first goal, and the old scholars shoot out to a 13 point margin. He likes playing this sort of loose man. Oh, but now good. and again when Cassidy has these struggles. Good from Langford off to Phillips who drives it inside forward 50, floating across the pack. There's no need for that. He's out. I think Murphy's down here, but I, I think this was relative. It was okay. Let's, I think it was a 50-50 contest. Got a really good ruck contest at the moment. Polonowski probably just winning it as a clearance kick there by the Southern Football League. Cassie trying to win front position. Luke Potter's been good. Potter handles up to Marty Allison. Marty Allison from 40 metres. Kicks a wonderful response for the SFL. And the fans just on the left hand here, side here in the Duffet position uh, applauding Southern Footy League. And Cassidy trying to pump up the team. She's going to need another one here as it comes out for Rawson down towards Parker over the back. 
quick one for Halton. Here's Cassidy from a tough angle, bends it around and kicks a beauty. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Absolutely ripping stuff from the captain, Michael Cassidy, and that's what this contest needed. It's only seven points the margin. Now it's on to Fisher. Fisher's kick, about a metre short of what that needed to be. He's going to get it back again. Fisher with a bit of space, a driving kick oh, to Gilmore. Geez. And he's marked another one. He is so, so good on the lead, isn't he? Gilmore kicking for five from 45 metres out. Stuttering approach. It doesn't make a difference what he does today. He has five, Alice Gilmore. He's on track for 20 goals. He kicks onto one on one. Parker climbs up high, still gets it, and then gets one in the face. Didn't actually dispose of it. Ben Holton knocks it off, finds Theodore James, kicks it long and kicks a response. And a late goal here for the Southern Footy League. They're only six points down, Tubes Taylor. Garvey wins it down, out it comes here for the SFL handball. A little bit too much on it over the top. Kobe Phillips gets it away, that's a great tackle. And that's holding the footy. Phillips goes in towards Symbols there. Our Corso grabs it with two big Sibijan Symbols and then sends it inside forward 50. And here's the first time we're calling Ian Callanan's name. He got tackled once and he had, I think, one handball in the first quarter. Finds his man in Louis Franks. They want to get it in the Fade's hand, so sends it long. Well, Callanan went up for it and then going back with a flight. That'll be a free kick against poor old Geordie Dunn, who copped a kneecap in the eyebrows. No, it's not as Callan free kick. Yep. No, but he got it. Oh, against, sorry. So yep. 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 Gee, that's board. a kick. And now Franks from that half-back position plays without an opponent. And, oh, wow. Alex Gilmore takes a mark amongst about seven SFL players. Will he kick a le on left footer here? He's a good left foot kick, Gilmore. Don't reckon. I reckon he'll go the right check side. That one extra step was good from Gilmore. Just that bit of body contact to get that space. Chubsy tells it like it is, and Gilmore kicks his sixth. I'm running out of space here for Gilmore in our little score sheet. I started on the very far left you, hand you, side you of the page. I knew big he was, was going to happen today. Plays on quickly, but he decides against it. Goes down towards Halton, who goes bang with a one juke. He's cheated there, Holt. That went to the ground, but he he looked like he was confident. And the umpire was on the other side, and he's paid the benefit of the doubt to the bloke who nearly marked the football. <laughs> Nathan Hardy's upset about it. <laughs> Holton, Holton just looked confident down. Look, look at this. He definitely hit the ground, but that's okay. We'll give it to him. He just pushed off, and there it goes, on the ground. <laughs> no <laughs> stuff. It actually spent more time on the grass in his hands. Oh, wow. Where's it's that gone? Down Burnett Street. <laughs> down Letitia, yep. Now it could be on the Burnett, into that one of the worst intersections <laughs> in Tasmania. So Franks <laughs> with the fade just slips over. Sends it long. Briggs went high. Now a short one from Roberts. Finds the young man, Jai Beerman. Would have seen this kick on goal. That's yeah, not bad. It's sneaking back in. Jai Beerman. And Beerman, a surprise packet. The um, youngster kicks a goal. Well, it's one for one here at North Hobart Oval. Good contest. As we see Jai Beerman to kick the goal early in this quarter. Applying some great pressure then on Louis Franks. And has won a free kick, Louis Franks. There it is, Louis Franks. It's Beautiful going kick. to go Beautiful. straight through. Beautiful. And unfortunately, no one could defend that. And the old scholars just sneak that lead out to two goals. So now it comes, speak of the devil. He's got it here now, and he slips underneath. That was beautiful by him. Kicking it forward, sliding in though. The old scholars are going to get it here, but it's come out now. There he is, Tom Roberts. And towards the big man, Halton, who takes the mark. And we know his kicking is good. There's Holton directly in front. Now, there's some confidence. I mentioned Ben Holt. He likes set shots, but he needs some confidence from them. A bit like Shaq on the uh, on the foul line. <laughs> you get a couple in him, he suddenly gets confident. He goes from 50 to 55% accuracy. <laughs> and Holt gets one back here for the Southern Footy League. Now, the old scholars moving forward to half four. Just lacking a target, oh, but it doesn't spot. matter. Because it's knocked to ground. The ball's driven in. Gilmore, as he has done throughout the day. Leading out from full forward and taking a mark on his chest in the last little while. So, he's, well, what are we going to say? This has to be a sausage roll, doesn't it? Yes. Bending his back was the umpire in green, Mr Kermit. And signals <laughs> with two fingers. Another goal. That's seven. From the middle of the ground. Good call for the umpire, wasn't it? So Lewis Franks there. Potter was away too. Unfortunately, gave away the free kick. Gilmore! <laughs> It's a Gilmore show. Have this great system where they're giving Rat Gilmore a lot of space to run into. 
Kick on goal. It's skewing off yeah. to the left. I think it's just, just snuck in. through. Oh. And Alice Gilmore grabs the jumper. It's often the Richmond jumper. On this occasion, it's a generic jumper from the old scholars. He's proud and he's kicked eight. Rawson with time as they send it inside forward 50. And oh, back with a the flight there. Great stuff by that man, Nathan Hardy, who's gone back with a flight courageously as that one goes out of bounds. 9 grand final, one of the best games I've seen. 15 minutes of footy, which destroyed Deadpool that day. Now he goes round one, gets to 40. Just had a bit of pressure. A wobbly Bernie looking kick right into the square. Trying to run over the top of that was Cowan. Trying to lay some pressure on Richmond. Richmond had nowhere to go. And all the end found the boundary line. Good play from Cameron Johns. He loves lurking near a contest. Polanowski in the ruck. Jai County got there first. Harry Richmond in there. He gets a handball out. He finds the hands of Briggs. Briggs kicks for goal. And the old Scholars Football Association had their best lead for the game. Not in the south, though. There's only two. Yeah, but it's still too many. <laughs> Quick kick forward. Out at the back here is a chance for Caden Wilson. It kicks one off his shin. He's second. And the old scholars now race out to the biggest margin they've had this game. Well, the energy's is... been sucked out of this match, hasn't it? You can see yep. the heads drop from the Southern Football League and their motivations. That's maybe. 31 points. But anyway, it's Potter who's been one of their best. The Claremont star kicks it up high. Little hold there. Now, the mark's been taken by Tom Roberts. There was a hold off the ball. The umpire didn't see it. And Tom Roberts will have an opportunity to reply. And 31 points, they do need to kick this goal. Let's just see a little replay here. It was a little throw out. Sigurd's now in the ruck, but Narco just applying pressure, which is enough for Potter's kick to get in there, and an easy mark in the end for Tom Roberts. It's clever. So Tom Roberts, He'll kick it. a noted goal kicker, loves kicking the ball from impossible spots from 45 metres. It's a wonderful looking, looking kick, and Tom Roberts responds within 30 seconds. I think <laughs> that's your it? thing, it's mate. My thing, right, eh? It's standard, trying to find a bit of space where there's not a lot. Gets back again, <laughs> tight in the pocket. Dishes off the handball. Quick snap towards goal. And fortuitously dropping into the space there is Jake Briggs and runs in and gets a response for the Old Scholars Football Association. That hurts the SFL. That kick is Brilliant. clever. Tell you what's not clever is Briggs. No one stood on the mark. Just They've just dropped a bit their back half. But the SFL were on top in that second quarter. And they have definitely dropped away. Ian Caliban. He's really having an influence. Him and Stanton. The former players at Clarence are now with OHA. Kick on goal from 45 metres. Now the umpires move late. Doesn't matter. It's a goal. Callanan has one. And the old scholars have really broken this game open in this third quarter. We love a good Boosh. I know you talk about oh, Booshes a lot. Oh, and that's a beauty. Go. Potter goes forward. Briggs straight to Marcus Parker on his left. Kicks a beauty. Well, will that lift? Well, the SFL on his left foot amongst the large miasma of the opposition. He snapped it out of his bootstrap. Even now, they needed a kick there. This well, is he needed to run back, so good contact. Potter! Oh, he's cool. having a good game of football, and he's moving up the field. He dishes off to Theodore Jane. Oh. Theodore Jane's to half forward. He's going to look for Cassidy. Cassidy just pushed out in the tackle. He then goes and lays the tackle, unfortunately. Bump back in again. It goes past Cassidy. Roberts. Roberts, brilliant tap to Cassidy. Cassidy on his left. One-on-one. -on -one. Parker! Yes. And the, a few boos from the crowd, but that yep. was a mark. Definitely yep. mark. He controlled it. He was punched out of his hands after he marked it. And Parker. And it could be two in a row here for the Southern Footy League. Well, this is what they needed. And they've done this every single quarter as they've come back in the later stages of the quarter. Red time? He must kick this. Has to kick it. Oh, holy trousers. One. Yuck. Holy trousers. <laughs> oh. Needed to kick there. How do you miss that? I love Marcus Parker, but that's, kick. that yep. was rank. Anyway, Southern Football League still trying to pressure here. Long kick inside forward 50. Oh, massive from Cassidy. Stay in for Gilmore. Gilmore, clever handle. No look to Stanton. Stanton gets tackled. That's good work. Goes to the left, then knocked out by Fisher. Fisher, Gilmore steadies. The right pocket. Gilmore. <laughs> he kicks set shots and he kicks blinders. Oh, right and on the that siren. is the death bell at three quarter time. And that, wow, that hurts. And now they look to move the ball forward. Big kick up towards the big fella, Siggins. Siggins takes it at half back. Now they zigzag the ball up the North Hobart footy oval. Out it comes there for Allison to Roberts. Roberts can kick it from here. He chips it up instead and goes down towards Potter. And Potter takes the mark in the pocket. It's a good set of hands. It was a really nice passage to play up half back. Let's see what Luke Potter can do. 
Luke Potter can kick a goal. So <laughs> Southern Footy League, the heartbeat is there. And if it's still there, there's some hope. High fives. Needs to either send this long or send this laterally. And he goes halfway. That's and kick. that's a great kick to Cassidy, who comes out and marks it with a sliding knees. Strictly ballroom style. Now he looks inboard. Oh, that's an interesting kick, but he, it works out okay. Beerman. Beerman takes the mark. In a good in a footy team. He's coming from a good senior footy team in your Norfolk yeah. too. So he's shining amongst some, some pretty useful footballers there. And he's directly in front. He's opportunity to kick a second goal. And this will be two goals for the quarter. Very direct, deliberate approach. He's kicked it. It's a sudden footy league. The heartbeat increases. Knocks it out by Brady Langford into a bit of space. Goes past as a party. Then he lays a tackle. Stanton loves these opportunities. Brilliant from Stanton and finds Wilson 10 metres out. Let's so, hope we don't have a cold day because this man isn't overly insulated, is it? <laughs> Luckily, we're both a little insulated. <laughs> I'm or well and truly insulated. Caden Wilson comes in, makes no mistake. He kicks his third goal. He's had one in the first, the second, and the uh, sorry, first, third, and final terms. That margin back out to 26 points. Adams got his handball away. Kobe Phillips just swung at one and missed it. Oh, then caught one high. Did he Tommy made sure Roberts. the umpire saw it, though, didn't he, Tom? <laughs> yep. He's a pretty quiet and guy, Tom, too. too. Hot on the mark. About 20,000 people. Not when there's about 1,200. So <laughs> no, no, there's, there, there's, there's, no, there's actually probably 50. There's not a bad crowd here for those that are mocking uh, this game. as They get one back here. So Tom Roberts has had an influence. He generally does. he has been quiet. Tackled. That's a hold in the footy. That umpire there on screen said play on. Tom Roberts sends a burner down. Inside forward 50. Now they're a chance here. This SFL must kick this goal and does. Luke Potter has two in a quarter. For the Southern Football League in the middle of North Hobart. Kicks it high. It's not the best kick. Holton to beat two. Couldn't. Beerman tackled by. Oh, hot in the footy. Well, he did just drop it, he, and I'll tell you he what. He did have the biggest guy on the ground from <laughs> Callum Garvey. He's smallest. just in the wrong spot at the wrong time. It has just slowed a little bit, and that helps the Southern Footy League, I reckon. It's become a little bit more congested, and that's a hole. It's really a high tackle on Potter as Garvey just taller. Oh. Roberts in the corner, sticks the ball into the air. That's close. That's a oh. magnificent goal. Potter has got the SFL back in with seven minutes left. <laughs> Tom Roberts. He was from Wright Street. He was in the middle of Wright Street then. He might get fined for being in the middle of Wright Street and <laughs> kick the beauty. <laughs> to see this on the Mood Food replay. Look at this. That's Jack, Jack Manis, Jack Manis like it against Geelong about 12 years ago in the wet at the Gabba. One of the best goals I've ever seen. Well, that is in the list. Couldn't get it. Standard just stays on that one as a party. Standard gets the ball knocked out of his hands. Daft just threw Clever. the ball into the air. Could this be the response from Al Corso? And he throws his right fist into the air, and the old scholars get the lead back out to a couple. So right in the middle of North Hobart Oval. I think that is it, and it is. The siren goes, and the old scholars win the very first battle between the SFL and the old scholars by 14 points. 111 to 97, SFL Old Scholars Football Association, 17. Wasted a few opportunities, as we know, Peach, but we'll quickly go through the goal kickers. Alex Gilmore kicked nine. Caden Wilson with three. Jake Briggs with two. Cordell Corso with an absolute gem. Ian Callanan and Louis Franks with one apiece. And for the old uh, SFL, it was three apiece to Marcus Parker and Tom Roberts, and two to... Luke Potter, Jai Beerman, and singles to Marty Allison, Michael Cassidy, Theodore Jaynes, and Ben Halton. It is the Old Scholars Football Association, 17 9 the Southern Football League, 14 13 97. In a very entertaining game here at yep. North Hobart Over. Well done to both competitions for enabling this game to happen. Thanks to Martin Duffy. Oh, of course, uh, upstairs. It's been great, and G Funk, but a, a really really thoroughly enjoyed coming along of here course, today. Of course, we must thank, of course, Jackson Motor Company and Bennett's Petroleum for getting us along and, of course, the SFL and the Old Scholars. And thank you very much to you, Peach, for coming down from Wouldn't the north it. of the state. But that is it from us. My name is Tubes Taylor. You've been watching Duff TV. Until next time, take care and bye for now.